What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to round off up on last time, uh, well, we've made some significant progress in the Americas and we now have two forces that are in a good position to drive south and capture more Louisiana territory and more Cherokee territory. Uh, but on the on the, the grimmer side, we do have a increasingly um, constricting web of Russian armies near our city but what we must do is we've had some name requests um so previously the <clears throat> previously this this was originally way back when this was i just did i just did it then i when i created patreon i included it as a patreon sort of bonus but i've decided to not cancel my patreon because it's not really quite what i want to do um but we have had some requests so if you want to name a unit feel free to comment so the request we have is for the first uh, first and second. Ah, oh, no. First, well, uh, okay. Okay, let's get rid of. I can't get Welsh in there. So if I do reg, that's how I like to shorten regiment. I'd rather have regiment. Uh, I'd rather have regiment shortened than grenadier. There we go. First Royal Welsh grenadier regiment, and then this one. It's handy, really, it being the first and second units we've created. It's just... I don't know why. Hold on. Where did that go in there? Oh. Well, how, how did you work? Second watch. Oh, no. I'm an idiot. Because it's royal. Yeah. The first and second Royal Welsh Grenadier Regiment. So they're not going to get too much of a working out at the moment because I do want to hunker down. Any spare money I have, I want to build up at this force in Konigsberg and drive east to help clear them out. I'd like a few more infantry, but then I think this 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 small force here is ready to uh, we'll get some Grenadiers. This army will be ready to push out because we do have significant um, bonuses in in. The art of warfare. We are going to get socket bayonets soon. I could intercept Theodore, Theodore Mirabeau, if I leave this territory though. Oh, they don't hate us actually. Let's just march up here. We're going to march to intercept the Louisianans and hopefully try and kill, kill Theodore, not Theodore. But this inbound, this landward army is in a great position to push down and start to really uh, pressure the Louisianans. And then we've also got that force driving down the inland to go threaten the Cherokee. And we've also got that army near uh, Charlestown, which is biding their time. Okay, so let's create a wide battle line, because we are going to be advancing against the native faction so let's spread our pikes out along the core of the line then we want our militia and let's put some irish volunteers out on the flank as well there we go we're going to advance to secure that hill so let's group the cavalry together go general okay advance Okay, run our infantry, because it looks like we might get to the engagement point first. Run these cavalry up. Actually, let's run one of them to try and intercept Theodore. The omenry can fight the colonial cav, the regiment of horse can attempt to intercept the general. Alright. 
you guys inset the colonial curve, you guys all <laughs> veer off immediately as I click them into square. Get these two guys out of square, get the pikes in there. Let's push up a bit aggressively. Oh, damn. They left their general as chewy, delicious bait. Charge their line infantry. Okay, the cavalry's been seen off. So these men less the pikes, including my militia get them to run across and secure the hill my militia my pikes actually run back towards the front line run my cavalry run let's not let's not get defensive my pikes would love to meet those men. If they want to push up, we can push up. But these guys are chiefly after the colonial infantry. Swing you around the north of the hill. Charge you guys down the hill into the bowmen. Charge in. My militia should eventually win against that cavalry unit. It's small, it's depleted. You go for the general. in, although it looks like they've definitely had enough. We've intercepted the general. The native bowmen and auxiliary have been routed, charging the back of the native warriors. You guys charge those bowmen just to make sure they're shattered. Wavering. Just do something with those infantry so they don't do nothing. And then we've engaged Theodore. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? God damn these similar looking units. Chase him down. Do not allow Theodore to exit the field. I'm going to continue it just because I want to chase down the general. Although I don't. Kill Theodore. Kill him. Got him. Good stuff. It's going to. Okay, I've got a bit of. Winding down time while. Wow. Well, there you go. Get some good kills. I mean, ultimately, they will. These well, these guys are going to run around and exist on the map. So I suppose it is still in the in the interest of the campaign to make sure I carry on attacking them. Um, but 
We have absolutely trounced them, so... Ten men left. One man left. Close victory. That wasn't close. That was a slaughter. I only got to the melee because I allowed it. There we go. Yes. You raiders. You step foot off of our lands as we drive towards your territory. You need roads, but we have no money. So let's check our tech. Check our diplomacy. We're very friendly with lots of people. Understandably, there's a few nations that likely won't trade with us. Ooh, yeah, go on. I'll give them improved grenades if they give us more money. Okay, there we go. Expansion into the Americas would, is pretty fundamental in order to keep our uh, position on the continent secure. I'm glad Poland is squaring off with Prussia. Because it means that they, they can't then concentrate their forces to try and kill me either. Okay, looks like they are moving in for the final... Okay, I'm crazy if I don't intercept them right now. Because that's two of these armies that we can chop up quite well. The militia are a bit of a concern because the melee attack... We think my melee attack is 6 and they're 11. Because they are... They've got these big, like, uh, axes. The melee defence is 8 and our melee defence is 16. Yeah, we're definitely going to intercept <laughs> because I'd be mad to not take the opportunity to chew up a bunch of Russian troops in an end turn phase such as this. It's the first combat of the Welsh Grenadiers. Let's see how they get on. No breaches in the walls. Our guns just don't do anything for the moment. Deploy my troops to protect the walls in the good position. Put some... The first Royal Welsh can cover one shoulder, the second Royal Welsh can cover the next. See, this is the... This is the beautiful bit about having loads of loads of troops. Okay, let's put some clansmen on the walls. Because they'll be quite good response troops. If they scale. And that leaves us with some some serious firepower really. Let's put our cavalry inside for now. To be honest, with so much, I might as well just keep put another unit on the walls and then these guys can just <laughs> they can wait for their turn there you go so my clansmen are gonna take position they are going to leave fire at will on so that as they charge they're going to be engaged by a uh, pistol shot everyone's fire everyone's okay you guys have it Sometimes if you turn fire well off, they reshuffle. And then they kind of figure it out. Well, sometimes they don't. In which case they need a bit of a bit of jigging or jigging around, but Come on, Russia. Commit send your wee Russian lads into the slaughter. So I'm gonna speed up time while I figure out this fire at will problem. Sometimes they d it does fix them, they do fix themselves when the enemy is actually in range. Like when they've got someone to shoot at, then they seem to sort themselves out. You guys can both be fire. You can all be fire well off. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to listen to their drums ratting and tatting. So they may have a death alert, but our, sh our cannonballs still make it over the hill. Let's speed up time, because right now all they're doing is. 
Well, they are looking to try and make a breach. Well, I mean, they haven't really got a choice to do anything else. Okay, the second, the first Royal Welsh have had enemies run into their sights. So there's thirty-five percent there. Okay, they're engaging. The, the first are engaging cavalry at long range with musket shots and I mean they're going to get a lot of good kills here because they're not going to be able to uh, respond I mean I'm speeding up time here chiefly because not a lot is happening the 12th may have to sacrifice themselves in order to allow a breach to be made in which case then you take position in there you take position you guys take position in the armory What I'd actually like to do is to do this. You get in here. And then have a, a good killing field across the centre. Then put one unit back here just to make sure no one sneaks around the back. Yeah, like annoyingly, now I've moved men off the wall here. They're going to stop targeting that section of the wall. And they're instead going to go after this section of the wall. So you guys have to stay up there if we want them to breach. Well, those infantry did make it into the into position. The 9th Regiment of Horse are just going to get shot to pieces. Some more militia. The general's been killed. Oh, it would have been... Is it the actual general? Julian Pietrev. Felled from a cannonball. First militia regiment is in a bit of an odd position. Highlander warband are engaging with their handguns. Okay, there we go. Now they are trying to fell this section of the wall rather than that section I think 22 58 well at least up here they can do some good damage to the second regiment of militia first has gained a unit of experience a chevron of experience okay, the Scottish pistols looks like they just they really don't want to push until they make a breach so I'm just going to speed up time until that sort of thing happens I can definitely understand their decision to do that but feels like it's going to uh... okay there we go 85% so let's take the 12 and deploy them like this so they're still on the wall but we're not losing as many men when the wall collapses. We lost our first grenadier. Where is he? There he is. He's fallen. Face first. Like a true grenadier. Don't like the command. HQ's taking hits, but I think that's... Oh, that's very bad. get these men out because that there we go they formed a breach and the cavalry is swarming in very well form square so my artillery has got hit from missed shots I think the, I think the uh, militia are going to try and charge the command HQ Let's withstand their cavalry charge. Might even bring my 
clansmen down. In order to provide more... Uh, I mean, yeah, it says they've captured the main square, but uh, not in practice. Because these lancers are going to lose men attempting to secure the breach. Yeah, the Twelfth are unhappy. They're still providing fire into the centre. So I click fire it will now. I was curious if these guys would trigger such that they would fire into the centre and stand on the inside of the fire step. Careful about the timer, though. I'll throw the cavalry in. Just so we don't cease the point entirely. You men get back into line and begin engaging the men as they reinforce. Run the dragoons are in. The Cossacks have been routed, they've been shattered. You guys fire it well off for now. And these men are engaging the cavalry. Cavalry's been broken, so let's push our men back. If there's no one in this building, then we can safely push these men up in front of them. The 29th will likely lose their, uh, their hole on the town here, unless these men can get some good fire by rank off into the, the bulk of the militia that still sit outside the doors. There we go, some of the second grenadiers have taken position to engage in the centre. The first Royal Welsh are about to run out of ammo. And they're being charged by militia! Militia, charge down the hill! There we go, both the militia have been pushed out of the command HQ. Push these men further up the gap, so they can fire by rank into the into the breach. Let's charge the grenadiers into the militia. Okay, let's push them off. Let's get them back up here in command of the the gun battery. the hussars again but the reinforcements now starting to dribble into the dribble onto the field from the second reinforcing army comes the, the Bonnier Strezzi first regiment of horse sadly they will suffer a painful fate the 12th regiment they've held on God damn, these men, these are... They lost most of their men from artillery, a bunch of them on the wall collapsed from underneath them, and yet they hold on. Okay, right, you guys, leg it. You guys, leg it. Okay, so what I normally do in this situation is I'll have one unit like facing that way i'll have one unit back to back with them okay i might put my my lone gun here blasting here with canister shot The 
Hussars are forming up for another push, but it looks like they've decided not to. The 12th still doing excellent work in front of the breach. But it looks like the Russians are uh, in a bit of trouble because they've not got the strength to actually commit. Bunch of men. Okay, the first up to two. Two chevrons of experience. Who's this coming up now? 21st Regiment of Foot Line Infantry. And they're bombarding the 12th. Soon to be out of ammunition, these men. Pouring fire into the Russian infantry. Well, it looks like they can't make up their mind if they want to actually come into the ter into the into the uh, town or not. Charge down the stairs into the sick regiment of militia. Twenty-first regiment is going to break. of artillery dragoons that have dismounted we've not really got a lot left who's that? that's the militia more militia charging oh they're actually charging yeah they are don't worry we've got our lone gunner we will not take kindly to this They didn't take too kindly to it either. These men look a bit stuck. Two more units pushing up. Three more units pushing up. Although they are starting to really run low on infantry. Granted some of our units have been pummeled, but I've also got a couple of units that are still in quite good strength. Or still at quite good strength, I should say. Okay, there we go. Charging in, as is the Russian way of war. We're more than happy to pour fire into their men. There is no free lunches here. Although you guys do have bayonets, finally. But it looks like you are being slaughtered. 34th, Nizhny Nov Novgorodsky. They are not entirely happy with the way things are going. Hello. Finally got, finally got men coming in through the other breach. These grenadiers are manning firing points. Firing into the backs of the cavalry. 21st have been pushed back. Speed up. 19th have been forced back. Ah, oh, the 12th has run out of ammo. And we get picked apart by the 1st Regiment of Dragoons. But what that says to me is that it's counter charge time. Including you, Mon General. Lots of the infantry they have is in penny packets. It's actually routing so I can get my cavalry out there. Knock out these guns.
use it is. I want to run past their infantry. So I'm ready on a horse to deal with the general. My brothers of the dragoons deal with the artillery. There we go. And my general over here can charge on and engage the artillery to the rear. It is a bit safer back there. The general's been killed. Actually, let's get you to also come along and help my general clear out the artillery. Grandes are firing and they're <laughs> chasing away. Hey, they actually got a uh, grappling. Actually got some grappling hooks to the, the walls. But they've still pushed around into the centre. I want to try and kill as many crew as I can. Okay, there we go. These Russians are going to be killed. Another push. Although it looks like the Dragoons have uh, realised what's going on. I don't think it's the best option for them. The General's bodyguards come back. Charging. We've still not pushed through to the centre yet. Hold on, dragoons. The last great Russian charge coming in. Fire! You guys smash into the Dragoons, actually, my general can actually no. make sure we win this fight so I don't lose my regiment of horse. Charge men in quickly, it will be decisive and we will win. And then we can move on and start to kill the Dragoons and all these other lovely people. General chase down the line. Both of my other units chase down the general's bodyguard. Then when they break, charge straight onto the dragoons. And all you men can charge out the gates and hit that infantry unit that's bugged. Okay, one of you chased down the dragoons. Oh no, I can't. Oh, I didn't even get a chance. But still, they have been repulsed. Now the cost of a unit of artillery, but they lost nearly oh, 2,318 men. That's huge. Back you go, Russia. Don't try that again. And they're not going to either. Beautiful. Oh, that's really not great. Oh, the Marathas. Poor, poor Mughal Empire. Louisiana's causing us trouble. 
Although, right, okay. So the remnants of that army took the territory, which is a, a real bummer. But I'm just going to go and auto-resolve, take it back. It does look like the Louisianans are pushing up more troops as well, which we need to be aware of. Yeah, don't worry, Cherokee. We're coming after you as well. We are coming after you as well. Don't don't trade. Don't blockade people that I'm trading with Barbary states. I need trade. I need that money. The moolah. Army destroyed. Yeah, temporarily. Probably lost more men than I would like, but you may replenish. What are they charging up with? Yeah, bowmen, lots of chaff. And then Your Majesty? Pikes Your can Majesty? march in, dragoons can march more? up. Can you guys leave Niagara? You can. And you guys can also knock out these remnants of the we Cherokee that have triumphant. been frustrating us. Knock down this fur trader. Spend the last amount of cash we've got replenishing our men here and then start to explore. Can we send more men away from our territory to join forces pushing south? Your orders, Your Majesty. Ready and to be honest, you guys could just put them under siege and let them push out to you if, that's, if they want to. Yeah, we took back Michigan Territory. Montreal has produced roads. Yeah, our economy, our income is going down. Part of that is the maintenance of forces here. So let's take you men. Push you out. We've only got a handful of militia, which isn't great if Prussia turns on us, but they are allied with us currently, so let's march out. Oh no, they intercepted us. What a terrible thing. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for uh, hopefully some action to push the Russians away from Vilnius, and then also some uh, pushes up towards Riga or St. Petersburg. Radio. Cheers everyone, this should be pretty good.